Well, I'm tired of pointing fingers and I'm tired of laying blame. And it's time I let my free voice ring. Well, I'm tired of empty promises and I'm tired of this old game. And I'm tired of hearing them cage birds sing. <laughs> well, I want to be on the right road soon. Well, I want to be on the right road. Cash in your promises and deliver me a little truth. Well, I want to be on the right road soon. We tried this morning, hunting out a box blind this morning, and uh, the, the full moon here this week hadn't, has got the ducks a little, a little shaky, a little messed up. They're feeding at night. Uh, not a lot of movement during the day. Here he comes. Coming to you, coming right at you. We started down here at Backwoods this morning. We started one of their flooded cornfields and we were hunting out of a, a ground blind and we've been fighting the full moon for the last several evenings and we knew it was gonna be a little bit rough and it was. Even though we didn't get a lot of gunning in, it was still, uh, it was very, very much a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That wind's going like that, right? right. Got you. Well, they're circling back here. Mm -hmm. Y'all haven't been able to see them, but we have. And they want to come like this mm -hmm. and circle around. And what he did was he skirted those decoys. Oh, went on, he, can, yeah. he can see those decoys, you know. Right. And he's going around the outside of them. Well, I want to make a line out across there where he can't go outside. If he comes in here tight, he's going to come, he's across, come across the inside. Over this blind or come over here on this left side. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to duck down and let you shoot him right there. Let him crank back in this wind. Kill him. Kill them, kill them till they get out. My gun got stuck. I was wondering why I was the only one shooting. We had some speckle bellies and, and we figured with Jake uh, helping us out and line us up this hunt, uh, he told us that we'd probably have some speckle bellies frequenting the neighborhood and we had a couple of them come in this morning and, and uh, we didn't get them, but we still saw him. Well, I want to be on the right road soon. Well, I want to be on the right road soon. We tried a little different scenario this afternoon with some layout blinds, and it was Tom and Dave's first time in the layout. And uh, so it was, it was different for them. Well, we came down to Backwoods Lodge uh, out, out in the country outside of Wabasika and uh, really had a good time. It's the first time I've been down in this part of the country. They put us on a speckle belly hunt this afternoon, which was outstanding. We were in layout blinds. Uh, David and myself, neither one had ever hunted out of a layout blind before, and they had them camoed up and decked out, and they had a bunch of speckle belly decoys out. Basically, the wind coming in. Uh, right, that's, yeah, coming it's in right over our right range. shoulder, yep. yeah. Because you can just look at the decoys, how the nose of the decoys, right. you should always be looking, you know, to, assuming that they're tied, the weights are tied to the front of the decoys. Yeah, the, the, you know, always the beak should be looking right, right at Right into the wind. You don't ever want to see your decoys fannies because that means the wind's switched or you're sitting in the wrong spot. Getting a lot of different looks at duck hunting on this one, and it's, uh, it's been interesting. We Last week we've done the blinds. The regular uh, box blinds. We're now doing the layout coffins. We were doing. We weren't in timber last week, but it was so cold we had to do the had to go into the cypress sloughs into deep water. Just let them come. Let them come. Shoot them. I think you winged one. <laughs> Eventually, got some birds working, and uh, they came in. Got to do some shooting today. Killed a few ducks, and uh, it was uh, it was a good hunt. Locked up, locked up hard. Kill them. Got him. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there, bud. Mm -hmm. 
Being new to the village myself, you know, uh, one of the hardest things for a sportsman is leaving the places that he's hunted for years. And uh, when I can come down and meet people like Tom and Jake and just fall into it and go see some great hunting area, get some great sport, and just meet some great people and have a good time, that's, that really helps you in, in doing those transitions. David's over here munching on something. What? Absolutely. Oh, he's, oh, he's holding out on me. I'm over here talking about these honey buns no, that I, I got, left in the truck. I just, now that I let, let me move, eat your Oh cranberry my thing. gosh, man, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time I'd hunted with Jake, and uh, he taught me a, a lot of things. And the uh, biggest thing he taught me is I better carry a honey bun at all times because he left his honey bun in the truck when I was in those layout blinds. And he smelled, I think he smelled that I had a little something in my, in my blind bag because he, he started growling over my way and I had to throw him a, I don't know what it was my wife had in there. It was like cranberry mulch or something. I don't know what it is, but it looks perfect. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's something my wife stuck in there is mulch or something. Mulch. <laughs> I learned to come prepared when you come down here with these boys. Here at Backwoods Lodge, uh, we're not even a mile from Biomeda, the famous Biomeda flooded timber. Uh, it's, uh, we offer a, a lodging, just lodging, and you can hunt Biomeda for hunt flooded timber, or you can uh, book hunts with us, and we'll take you in the fields and you can hunt Biomeda. We wound up killing more ducks than we did geese while we were here, but that was okay because it was a lot of fun. and. And the guys work really hard. They work real hard to get us on some birds. They do everything they can, but you know, we shoot the ducks that are here on the days they're here. You know, you, as an outdoorsman, you'll understand that when you get here and uh, that you'll see firsthand they're gonna try to put you on the ducks no matter what it takes. 